So here we are, three months later. You know what it is. Let's get it started. YouTube family, what's good, what's good? Hey, here it is. Three months later, we have come from the summer solstice, right? Up here to dun 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 fall equinox, equi, equinox, equal day, equal night. So here we are. The sun has made its progress from the Tropic of Cancer up here, spiraled out. From here, spiraled out to the middle of Africa. That being, we already mentioned it, Equatorial Guinea, or to make it easier for everybody else, Ecuador, right? Ecuador and South America. And so, with that progress from the 21st of June to the 21st of September, this is how the, f the sun and the moon function. And they go in their circle or their circuit up top above the earth, serving the earth. The sun and the moon serve the earth. We do not serve the sun and the moon. They serve the earth and its inhabitants, right? The sun and the moon do that. So now this is where the sun and the moon is sitting, right here. After three months from the 21st of June, like I mentioned, to the 21st of September. During this time, while we're experiencing cooling weather, 12 hours of day, 12 hours of night, right? And the falling of the leaves at the same time, guess what else we're experiencing? We're experiencing the aurora borealis. Some of us may experience it, depending on where we live. Some of us may be experiencing an opposite effect during different times of the year. That's the aurora australis. That's more down in the southern regions, right? The southern, uh, southern, I guess you could say, quote unquote, hemisphere regions. But they're just talking about areas in the Tropic of Capricorn. So what the Aurora Borealis is, scientists say that it's like, you know, the sun giving off its, its charged particles to a part of the atmosphere that makes it do this and do that. Bullshit, bullshit, lies, lies, more bullshit, more lies. This is what I think it is. I'm probably wrong, but I'm probably right. Who knows? It sure beats getting lied to. So we remember that we discussed the Rupus Negris. The Rupus Negris being the black rock in the middle, direct middle of the North Pole. That black rock could potentially be coming up and touching or coming close to touching the firmament. With that, oh Lord, with that, the Rupus Negris coming up to touch the firmament. It's providing us some kind of electromagnetic phenomena. It's providing us some kind of flux. If you guys remember that toy from the 80s, the eye of the storm, that big glass ball. Remember that? That would shoot electricity. And as you touched it, the electricity would get attracted. Those arcs and sparks would be attracted to your hands. I feel the firmament functions much that with much like that. Because of the, um, because of the Rupus Negris. Matter of fact, let's let's see the eye. Here it is, family. That's the eye of the storm. One of my favorite toys as a kid growing up. That's it. And like I said, the Rupus Negris could be like that, and like this, this guy's over there just making all kinds of riffraff and racket. So there it is. That's an example of it. Right? Eye of the storm. Pretty dope. And yeah, so like I said, I feel the Rupus Negris functions in that manner uh, to support uh, the functioning of this earth. That's what I feel. I could be wrong, right? But that's how we get the Aurora uh, Borealis. And so the Northern Moor regions, right, that I was talking about, those guys are going to get, where are we at? Flip that around. There it is. Those guys right here in that circle 
Everybody within that circle is going to be seeing it from the time period of August to April, right? And then during that time period, the sun is outside on the outermost part towards the Antarctic ring, right? And while these guys are experiencing their summertime and everything like that, Everybody over here is going to be seeing nothing but the concentration of the arcing and sparking from the rupus negris, right? Coming into possible contact with the firmament and that being the aurora borealis. And it's not only until the sun starts making its way from the Tropic of Capricorn back to the uh, Tropic of Cancer that the aurora borealis will begin to disappear. And that's after April time frame. Anyway, you two family, that's all I got for y'all. Um, make sure you're taking care of yourselves during the season. Uh, the weather's changing and changing rapidly. The weather's going to start getting crazy. Uh, make sure you drink your waters, your limes, lemons, garlics, cloves, black pepper, turmeric, all that stuff. Boil it up, drink it. Make sure you're staying ahead of the health power curve. That's all I got for y'all, family. Wish y'all nothing but the best. Health, wealth, love, joy, prosperity, most of all, wisdom. And with that, I love y'all. I'm out. Peace.